Folks, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to have a selectman's hearing because we only have two members here tonight. This is public video of Monday's meeting. Select women Dottie Bilbro, Kim Farah, and Sheila Johansson left after seeing that most others in the room were not wearing masks. A violation of town policy, which the town attorney verified in a letter as legal and enforceable. We have to do the town's work, and uh, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Chairman O'Neill expressed frustration and exasperation. I feel that this, this even this mandate here that's made by this board is illegal. I basically made it my, my edict. I'm willing to go in front of a judge to argue my case. The town fire chief is also a select board member and does not support the mask policy. Sean and I share the same mindset, I believe, that we're here listening to you folks. Our job is to represent the residents of Danville. Not All five select board members declined to comment for this story, but some residents are now wondering how business will get conducted and started brainstorming. There is absolutely no reason that we can't have a special section reserved for people who choose to wear a mask and everybody else can choose not to. Right? Mm -hmm. And that is entirely fair and in keeping with what we did before. The Timberlane Regional School Board meets tomorrow night. Chairman Sean O'Neill is also a member of that board and says he will try to get the mask policy overturned in the school district. Reporting live, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.